Gamers, Caddy G here again. So we're starting episode two. <laughs> um, so on our previous episode, we went and collected resources to get our temporary base so we could hold our resources for um, the raft base that I wanted to build. Um, we also managed to tame a couple of dinosaurs. So as I was collecting resources off offline, um, well, I wasn't recording, unfortunately. Uh, Dilbert and I came across two other Dillos, and unfortunately, I did not realize until we were actually fighting that one of them was a level 20. At least one of them was. Both of them might have been up there. And, of course, neither one of us was, which was a big bummer. So, I lost Dilbert. Um, I did manage to catch another Dillo, so I got D Dilbert the second. So rest in peace, Delbert. I was hoping I could keep him a little bit longer, but no such luck. Um, what else? Uh, so you notice that we only have one of my bigger dinosaurs. Uh, Polly's missing. Um, so I tried to do some streaming and recording, and unfortunately, it didn't go well. So... Um, in the midst of, uh, building my raft, um, there was another, of course, Dillo. Dillo seems to be the big troublemaker here. Um, he attacked a couple of my dinosaurs, or it attacked it, and they went after him, which would have been fine, except they crossed paths with, a, a tri Triceratops, and that was the end of that. He almost, I almost got him, um. They managed to get on my boat. Unfortunately, I didn't get Polly. I don't know if Polly got on and got off or what happened, but he was running up the the um, uh, beach, which really sucked. And I had the raft, and I was just turning around to get him. And I guess I must have went too far away and turned around and started to fight the Triceratops and died. So big bummer there. I was really sad. <laughs> I have not had the opportunity to keep one dinosaur, which is a big, big bummer. So, um, so we're down to Paula and Delbert the second. I'm hoping to catch another, um, another one, but I think for now I'm going to hold off until I finish my, my base raft and then I'll pick another one up. So we'll see if we have some time today. We may go pick up another one or a uh, Pteranodon. I'd like to get one of the flying guys that are around here somewhere. We'll see. Uh, okay. Um, as you can see, I, I uh, dismantled my temporary base. As I stated earlier, I was trying to do some streaming and recording at the same time and did not realize that there was an issue with the video card and unfortunately all that content got thrown out and um, I had already torn down my base and I had built the raft um, so I went back because I promised I'd do a raft video I'm gonna do a raft face video today and I deconstructed my base so that's the the upside about having S plus as well as I have um, a key that allows me to pick up objects that are normally permanent that I added to my game game user uh, settings.ini. If you go back to episode zero um, in the description, there uh, explains where what to add and what to set it to. I believe it's just true. Um, so we're good there. Uh, so let's get started. I was hoping it would be lighter out when I did this, but that's okay. You should be able to still see what I'm doing. All right. So as you can see, we already have our raft, it's just a basic wood raft. Um, I'm not high enough up to get the gas powered one. So I just have my regular raft, which is awesome. Um, so the first thing we have to do 
is get a rail uh, you want a rail which I'm gonna go get so um, you want a fence oh sorry fence foundation not a rail um, it's really important for this first piece you do not do the S plus uh, versions of these structures because I found that during my attempt at my previous video is the S plus structures don't allow the same snap points as their regular or vanilla um, siblings. So, um, so I got a fence foundation and one pillar. Um, most everything else is S plus structure, as you can see. The only other thing that I had to swap out um, was the dinosaur gate. Now, I already did the override in the game user settings so that I can add a gate to my raft. Um, but I did find that when I did the S plus structure, I couldn't line it up correctly. Uh, I kept trying to snap at the wrong points, which was really annoying. So I managed to build... A regular one and that one actually lined up perfectly the way I wanted it so I'm hoping I have all the correct parts I had some issues when I was deconstructing it and it accidentally collapsed a couple pieces which is really annoying um, so let's get started um, I am attempting to stream this at the same time as recording it so uh, the quality may be a little bit less but overall not bad so the first thing you want to do is get your raft up, which I have. Um, one thing I already did, and I'm going to re-enable it real quick, is, um, oops. Uh, so normally when you, let's see if we can line it up so you can see it, there we go. Okay. So normally when you set up a raft, you'll get a sail like this um, and it actually be flipped. I turned mine around and I may end up having to move it again. Um, we'll see. I seem to be okay with the S plus structure wood foundations when I was putting the base in, um, which is great. Uh, we'll see if it works again the way I wanted to. But the first thing you want to do is hide your sail because we're actually going to heat oh we don't want to demolish that would really suck okay so we're going to go in and, and hide our sail so now our sail is gone the reason why you want to do it is because you actually want to be able to see this hole here at the top we're actually going to line up our rail with that so uh, or sorry our fence foundation if i can actually say this correctly so you want to try and get this as close as you can. Um, all right, so we got that in. Now at the end, you're going to place your pillar. So you just do it right at the end. It'll snap right in, which is perfect. And this allows you to put your foundation in without having to do a bunch of weird stuff. I've seen some interesting um, build options and this seems to be the least wasteful with resources, which is really helpful when you're first uh, starting out like my character is. Um, resources are a pain to get, not to mention it's boring. You want to go tame, right? So. We're going to toss this in our nine slot. Can I do it? Oh, nice. I didn't able to carry all of them. Okay, cool. All right, so let's see if this is going to work. So we'll bla place a couple, and then I'm going to be quiet while I finish the rest of them. Oops. Um, so you're actually going to need two things. You're going to need your wood foundation. And the nice thing about doing the S plus foundation is that you should be able to upgrade it in place with your S plus. Uh, your little S plus gun here um, allows you to do different variations and I believe you can do like uh, go from thatch to wood to stone um, so you're gonna need two pieces uh, you're gonna need 
a ceiling structure. I just did a thatch one. I'm going to replace it, my gun, with my thatch structure. And then the other a thing, of course, is your wood foundation. Obviously, you can do a different foundation base. I don't, like I said, I don't know that thatch will work. I've always done it with wood to start. Um, okay, so. Uh, all right, so the first few are pretty easy to set. Um, I would hold off. I'm putting the one right here. Um, unless you get a ramp in right away. Because uh, you're going to have to be able to get in. All right, so we got that one. All right, now, this is the cool thing. We can pick up our pillar. And we can pick up our wood fence. We'll have to if you want to put a foundation here. And then toss our foundations in. All right, I'm going to leave that one for now so I can get back in if I have to get out. All right, so... Uh, right now it's three across and three um, deep. We're actually going to do five by five. So I'm going to start. Now you can only do this first round and then as you can see it won't snap after that. And it doesn't matter if you have S plus or the regular one. Um, neither one of them will snap. Which is a real big pain in the butt. So the trick is, so let's see we're doing three by three. We'll start here, so one on each side. Um, this is where your thatch ceiling comes in. So you attach it and attach that. Um, maybe. You might have to go out a little deeper. Yeah. So we'll start on the other side. Um, I was worried about this. If it was a little too uh, shallow here the structures won't attach so we'll start from the other end and then I'll I'll rotate the uh, boat around so uh, I believe this is three by three so we're gonna do one this way Let's see if it'll let me do it oh all right so we might have to go out a little bit It's a big bummer. I don't want to go out too far that way because something will kill me. So we're going to try and go just a little this way. You just need to go out far enough so that your stuff, you have a little bit of space to attach things. It should be pretty good to start. I'm going to flip around so when I come in I can just... Alright, I don't want to get too far away. Okay, so let's see if this will work now. Okay, so it worked. All right, so now I'm going to finish building the foundation out. Enjoy the show.
So I have one last piece here to put in. Um, I'm actually going to bring, uh oh, bring my, uh, bring this around and bring it back over because it'll be easier to get in and out. Um, just a reminder that I don't think even with the S plus structure that it will honor the boundaries. So be mindful what you're doing. All righty. So let's get our last one in. Good. So I'm going to go put the ramps in. So the ramps will go here, these two places, and I will have uh, the gates going to go kind of off center. Now, if you want it center, then you're going to have to do six. I like five by five and you start getting any wider than five you start hitting um you start having an issue with boulders and things like that which can cause problems with your dinosaurs so let's get our ramps on and we're going to bring the dinosaurs on and get let them sit on site for now on this side I'm gonna line it up in the middle. I actually like putting a double door on the back end. It kind of comes in handy when you're doing stuff. All right, so I'm gonna call my dinos over because I don't want to lose them again. <laughs> um, so this is a great structure to start with. However, I do not recommend or at least be careful if you stick with it long term. Um, I do find that the dinos tend to glide off of it, which is really annoying. All right, so we're gonna. All right, so we got those in place. So now we're gonna start building out level one. So I like to do a lot of windows. Um, one, it's actually easy to see. When you're driving, it's kind of nice to have windows in the front part so you can actually see where you're going. And um, if you want to shoot at something, you can. All right, so we're gonna do windows first. We're gonna split this in half. Let's see if how many I can hold. All right, I can actually do most of these. Awesome. All right, so you remember, this is the front of the raft where the rail, or where the sail was. So this is the rear of the raft. So now let's start building. Uh, next, we're going to get the plain walls. Next up, I need some ceiling. So we're going to wrap up our level one. Pretty good. Okay. So I only need half of these. Make sure that I can get up. All right, so we have 
level one complete minus doors. Now we're going to start on level two. So, uh, wait. This would be easier if the dinosaurs weren't here, but last time I did this, they kept chasing stuff and I ended up getting one of them died, so we'll just have to deal with it. All right, so we're going to put in our second set of windows. Heck yeah, cool. Now, as you can see, it's a little off center, which I think is fine. Um, if you want it on center, then you'd have to add a third row, which kind of makes the whole thing off. So, I'm not that particular. So we have our windows in. So now we're going to make our ceiling. Now we won't complete the third floor because that's going to be where the greenhouse goes and I need crystal to do that. So that will be at a later date when I can collect crystal. Um, so now that we have this kind of in, I'm going to move Polly a little bit out of the way. And I think... Dilbert's good for now. Um, and we have our door frames. Yeah, double check when you put your ladders up that you can get on them. All right, so we have our, so like I said, this will serve as our third floor. Um, so you can just do the glass, the greenhouse windows all the way around and a ceiling. Yeah, um, and if you want, you can put a greenhouse wall here. That way you can fill this up with the large crop boxes and uh, do some pipes and a reservoir. Uh, uh, water reservoir and catch rain which I'm probably going to do I think to kind of help with water alright so you can see here's the second floor now I don't have a ton of plans for the second floor right now um, my bed will go up here but most of every, or pretty much everything else is going to be on the first floor for now. However, um, you can do storage. You can do um, pretty much anything else you want. You can even put some of your dinosaurs up there. You just have to replace, you'd have to um, move some things around and put a ramp so you can get your dinosaurs up, uh, your smaller dinosaurs up there to the second floor. Um, or carry them if they're really small. So what do we have left? Um, so we have all this, so we just need to put in our gate and our doors. So I'm gonna uh, bring Delbert over a little bit. Let's see. Oh, I did it on the first try. should be enough honestly it would be easier if he was in here Let's see if I can get him in or that works too 
perfect. All right, so we're gonna put in our doors and our dinosaur gate frame. Should work for most of the dinosaurs. So here's our door and our gate frame. How are we doing on weight? Pretty good. We're gonna probably even grab our, wow. I can just keep taking on stuff. Oops, I don't want this one. I do want my bed and the furnace. And can I take this? Ooh, okay. I need to stop and eat real quick. Hopefully I've got something in here. I do, thankfully. Yay. Good for now. Um, one thing about these structures, you actually have to empty them out before you move them, before or after you move them. It's up to you. But they have to be, if you try to move them with stuff in it, it'll just drop it in a pack. All right. So here's the fun part. We're going to place our gate. Uh, so we have our gate. The biggest thing with the gate is I found you have to get up close to the edge for the snap point so and then look down. That was about the only way I could get this gate in correctly. So you have the gate. So next up are the doors. So now you have a back door you can go out and a front door. And we're gonna put our dyno gates in. Now the great thing about using S plus gates is that you can set them to auto close, auto open, um, so on and so forth. And I think want that. Alright. Nope. Oh, looks like uh, we might have to place this differently. Okay. Poly. So it does work. You can probably keep a few big dinosaurs on here. Oops. Just make sure that okay, I'm going to put them over in the corner so I can flip the gate around since this will annoy me to no end. Remember I said you kind of have to get up there. Think we're good? Let's... Nope. Try one more time. There we go. We got her in. All right. Now we can put our gate in, our doors in. And voila. We have our gate. <laughs> we have our pooping dinosaur. All right, so we got a furnace, or sorry, forge. 
I always want to call it a furnace for some reason. Uh, the only recommendation I have is not to put it right up against the wall. I've had some issues. Now, I haven't tried with the S+, Plus, but I have had some issues when upgrading the wall. Stuff, stuff's kind of touching it or close to it. Um, it's destroyed it for some reason. I don't know why. So this is our conversion table. For now, I'm going to set it here. Um, actually, I'm going to put it up on the second level because we're probably not going to be, really be converting stuff too often. So we will put it over here. All right, let's put our bed up. So the nice thing is you can put park this base wherever and you'll have a bed there. Um, and so let's put our S plus conversion table put it right here for now. Works. pot over here and our fireplace here e, that is not where I wanted it try that again actually this is an S plus fireplace hey guess what we have a converter upstairs And just like that. Alrighty. So the smithy I like to put right next to the furnace. And sometimes I put a storage box for uh, extra supplies right next to it. I haven't found any use on this side just yet. Um, over here I like to put my storage containers um, so we'll probably put them here and then I like to put the trough here to feed the dinosaurs so we're gonna go get our trough and bring it in board now here's what I said would happen let's pick up our feeding trough all the supplies that were in it uh, go in a touch so let's go put our trough in uh, Polly now really you don't have to put it out here you could maximize the space and stick it up here which I think I'm going to do. Um, that way you have more space for your dinos and really they only have to be in the area to get the benefits. So we'll toss it up here for now. Then we'll fill it up with supplies. I'll have to put some more meat in it. I have to go catch them. Okay. So 
So as you can see, they have the trough benefit now. Well, poor Dilbert doesn't. What was Dilbert? Uh, he's fine. So next up, we're gonna get our preserver, and then we're gonna get we're gonna bring our storage bins in. this in here. Alright, the last one I know has a whole bunch of stuff in it. So we're going to see if I can get a few things moved over before in the forge now I can go where resources are abundant Voila. and we're gonna make some metal so I can build my smithy okay so we have our our uh, luxurious wood base. Let's take a quick peek outside of what our finished result looks like. So we have three levels. It's five by five structure. Um, front we did two by one, and with the middle two being used for the dinosaur gate. On the side we have our pin area for our dinosaurs, which is about two wide and the remaining three go to the cabin piece. Um, so inside we have um, quite a bit of, of uh, square footage to lay all of our accessories down. Um, we have our wonderful second floor. So the first floor is going to be for um, regularly accessed equipment second floor is going to be for not regularly accessed equipment um, so we got our trough our bed and our conversion table and as you can see it's three by five uh, five in the back three now at some point I'm thinking I might might put a um, kind of like a um, terrace or a walkway on the second floor around it could come in handy when you're fighting but who knows I haven't really come across where that might be a good idea um, the only whoops 
the, the here's the third floor and we can start putting in our crops for the time being and we can also put in a water reservoir up on top a uh, stone one to start and then upgrade of course will as you go um, you can put the pipes down the side and this is where I started thinking about maybe putting a little walkway or something on, on the third floor because um, it might actually be nice to do the reservoir outside and that way you get the 360 degree benefit of a greenhouse or you can leave it on the inside but you should be able to as far as I understand connect uh, the S plus pipes along the side so you could should be able to water your crops pretty regularly um, besides rain <clears throat> you'll get a lot of rain to start and then after that you're gonna have to have some kind of watering system so not too bad huh you can bring your base to wherever you need it. You probably want to drive it. So, the only issue I have is driving. So, you'll see. Let's see how this looks. So with the auto open and close, that could be an issue. With driving, um, you see the gates kind of in the way so you could it might be easier to start with uh, says auto close only set close delay unlock mm. that's the only issue I could see that this might be a problem mm. so we'll see how this goes not entirely sure. I can change it with the S plus tool. I think we'll be okay for now. We'll dock here for the night. There's a lot of good resources right here. Um, see, it's kind of nice. You can dock for the night. And voila! Got short today. Um, there's actually an island right around the corner to the east that I want to go to. Um, and that all that has a ton of stone that I can start harvesting and there's usually quite a few pteranodons right around there there's also some beavers with some beaver dams so I can get some cement paste which will allow me to actually get some of the bots which would be awesome um, oh it's also there's also the south cave that's supposed to be the easiest one you can do crystal um, and then there's a couple of uh, really good um, metal deposits around there so if I'm a, uh, if I get high enough, I can get the dark gun and I should be able to get a, a triceratops and we can go do some good, I can do some runs on harvesting some metal. But I, right now we're kind of, it's dark. Um, I'm going to be careful floating around in the dark. Who knows what's out there? Well, I know what's out there. There's sharks. <laughs> or dinosaur versions of the shark. So, um, but we're good for now. All right. Well, thanks for joining. Um, like and subscribe. Uh, and hit the notification button so you can get updates on my next videos. Uh, I also have episode one where I did the temporary base and you can see my epic failures. Quite a few of them, unfortunately. Uh, but I did a temporary base and I did tame my first few dinosaurs, which is great. And then episode zero is where I built the server that I'm actually playing on right now. 
Um, it's an on-prem server. I did not actually have it hosted. It's pretty cool. But thanks again for joining. Um, hope you enjoyed everything. And uh, have, a, have a good night. Bye.